Up next is Doug Chase. Uh, Doug was the dean of this high school creative writing class in 1975. He won a parody writing contest from the Comics Journal in 1991. And when he heard about Dangerous Writers, he thought, fantastic, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Horrible new ways to tell my story. As Tom Spower said, think of a moment where after that moment, everything changed. And uh, Tom didn't say change for the worst, but for Doug, at least, it seems to have worked out that way. Doug Chase. <laughs>
giant lips and flowers, rainbows, and Michael Jackson sitting on the floor next to her. But how do you say you don't want to do it? I can't explain. I'm feeling, I don't know, I said. I want to wait on sex for a while. That's basically what I said. Maybe I said twice as many words or three times, or a thousand more words the way I keep talking when someone's looking at me like she did. However, I was saying that what I said was I didn't want to fuck. Burning behind my cheeks. Her shoulder pushed into mine. Her hip. Heat. Her answer. This was her answer. She pushed me down. Held me down to the floor. Her shoulder in my chest. Her weight. I never thought of pushing back. And did I say she was a big girl, almost as big as me? But she was bigger. 10 feet tall, 20 feet wide, arms and legs, and her face was Easter Island down. Scared, shitless, I was. Fuck. And she unbuttoned my pants and unzipped them and yanked them down. Her tonnage on my body, her elbow in my guts. She took my dick and swallowed it up and made it hard and made it harder. I was disembodied. Head above the fray, couldn't breathe, chest and stomach crushed by this giant, pissed, angry giant. On the other side of the crush, my dick, my dick filled up and got hard and came, and she swallowed it down, and she ripped off my dick to make it clean, and she pushed off my smashed, crushed self, and she put her face to my face, angry, pissed, raging. This was her answer how it was going to be. The world below my waist, my dick, shame, it fucks me up still.